There has been plenty of back and forth about hydroxychloroquine, you know, the drug some, including the president, thought might be an effective way to prevent and treat COVID. But the FDA says it's not. And earlier today, the Ohio Pharmacy Board banned the drug as treatment. But as News 5's Amanda Van Allen explains, that ban didn't last long. This little white pill has gotten some big attention lately. The FDA has said over and over again that this is not an effective treatment. Despite the warnings from experts, President Trump and his son Eric Trump have touted hydroxychloroquine as a drug that can prevent and treat coronavirus. Today, the Ohio Pharmacy Board banned distributors from selling or dispensing hydroxychloroquine strictly as it relates to COVID-19. Governor Mike DeWine pleaded with the board to reconsider, writing in a statement, the decision should be between a patient and their doctor. So a few hours later, the Ohio Pharmacy Board reversed its decision. It really did not provide enough opportunity for people to comment. Um, and what they should have done, I believe, is had a full hearing on this, uh, full opportunity, and really sought out uh, additional medical uh, advice in regard to this. Donna Skoda, the health commissioner for the Summit County Public Health Department, says the research is still clear. We're hopeful that people will not think this is a miracle cure and will stick to good sound medical advice from their physicians. Because of all of the back and forth with hydroxychloroquine, it's made life harder for people who actually need this drug, particularly those living with lupus. Myself and my colleagues are all trying to reassure our patients that this is still a very effective and safe medicine for patients with lupus even in the current climate. Dr. Stanley Ballou, the chairman of the Medical Advisory Board for the Lucas Foundation of Greater Ohio, says first it was hard for lupus patients to get the drug because so many places were buying it up. Then a misleading study came out about hydroxychloroquine and scared many lupus patients. This turned out to be incorrect uh, and it was retracted. Uh, there is no evidence that taking hydroxychloroquine or Plaquenil can affect the heart in patients with COVID. But it worried a lot of patients, of course. Nobody wants to be even think of getting a, pasta, a problem with their heart. Folks from the Lupus Foundation say it's taken them more than 50 years to get a drug that works, and they don't want all of the hype surrounding this to take their hope away. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.